Hello, my lovelies. I'm Suki, the brown eyed stitcher. I just looked up this number. This is floss tube 39. Today is Friday, January something, 2024. And can we just, we're just gonna relax through this, okay? Um, I will be doing zero editing whatsoever on this. There will be no, like, no anything. N nothing coming up on the screen. No cuts. I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. I am, however, going to lower this just a little bit because, because I'm sitting back and super chill. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? Like, I'm just going to get started and I'm sure we'll come up with, with what I've been doing and how I've been. And I just want to say, I didn't mean to fall off the face of the earth. If you follow me on Instagram, hopefully you saw my post. Um, I don't, I don't know. Not even that long ago, a week ago, maybe. Um, I I am alive. Hi. <laughs> I am alive. Um, it's just, it's just been special. Okay. We're going to start with giveaway winners. Um because that was kind of a major thing in my last video. So, these were for um, charts from Luthien Art Shop on Etsy. She's fantastic to work with and I love so many of her charts. Uh, so, the custom chart of your dog or cat, that is going to the runner stitcher who has a chihuahua named Winston, and I believe he is a fairly new floss tuber because I believe I saw him like a floss tube one pop up like maybe a month ago. Mm, I haven't watched any yet, but I'm pretty certain we, we got that. Anyway, the runner stitcher. You get the custom chart. Um, there were so many of you who entered for the custom. And I wish I could give one to everybody <sighs> so much. Um, it was very special to stitch Fira for um, Steven and it meant a great deal to him to receive that. It's still not framed, but that's, that's, that's different, right? Um, okay, and now we've got 10 winners who are won a chart of their choice. <laughs> uh, let, let's just give you a fair warning right now is that my focus is absolutely haywire. So I don't even wanna tell you how long it took me to do the very minimal prep I made did for this video. It took me way too long. Anyway, words are going to be hard. Ten cus no, ten charts. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ten winners who get to make, who get to receive a chart of their choice from Luthien Art Shop. This does not include bundles or um, she's got a new book out um, with like a tiny crust stitches so it doesn't include those it's just one single chart um and they are the following and i'm just going to say youtube please from the bottom of my heart please bring back people's names okay thanks bye okay 310 stitcher dragon stitcher 79 Cat Lover 4382, Melinda Hunter, 
Suzanne Crossstitcher, Amelia Moline Triadobatrachus. I'm going to assume that's a dinosaur. My Stitching Place, Alara 918, The Buckeye Stitcher 1515, Celine Schoonstrom 4749. Okay, I will do my absolute best to um, comment on your comment, but um, I guarantee nothing. But I will put you, I will tag you in the description. So hopefully you see this. And that's another reason why I did this so early in the video. So you knew why you were being tagged. Um, okay, so those of you, those 10 of you, um, please message Luthien Art Shop. Um, Instagram is probably the best, but if not, you can do it through our Etsy shop too. But Instagram is easier, I know, for messaging. <sighs> yes. I think that is all giveaway related. Thank you so much for waiting on that. Um, I did not expect to not be filming. I really didn't. Um, anyway. So, I have six projects to show you today. <laughs> In the last almost two months, I've only worked on six things. Um, I, I've been fairly monogamous. I've also, um, <sighs> been dealing with brain stuff. <sighs> like, ever since, oh hey, there's snow coming down right now. I don't think it'll get very snowy here. It's not, but that's pretty. And maybe I can send my brother out for like Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. Cause I don't want to go out again. I. Anyway, okay, wait, what was I talking about? Oh, monogamous. Uh, brain stuff. So I, I think I said in my last video that I had just um, gotten over COVID. Did I say that? I think I said that. Um, and by gotten over, it's really like the COVID part was gone, but the after effects were still there. I honestly believe I had COVID very, very mild. Um, but the biggest problem for me is that it uh, did something to my brain where it's added some executive dysfunction that I did not have before. So that's fun because um, I already had some. I didn't need more, but I have more. Um, and it's been a challenge. I have also not wanted to, um, th the reason I didn't like post or film or anything is because I've, I was unable to like publicly face anything. Um, it was hard enough to have like personal one-on-one -on -one kind of conversations, um, even over texting or something like that. Um, but like to post something or to film something, the snow coming down is just really pretty right now. I just, it, it just is. Okay, um, anyway. I couldn't output 
I just couldn't. Um, and that's all I can really say about that. There, it's just, it's been a challenge to deal with whatever it is that my brain is doing right now. And um, I'm getting told from multiple, like measurable, quantifiably measurable ways that um, like my stress levels are high, like constantly. So, um, there's that. <laughs> anyway, all that to say, I have six projects to show you. However, I kind of am surrounded by things to just like chat about, um, mostly stitching related. So no worries. I've got like some new stuff from stitching in the Springs, which was in like the beginning of November. Um, I've got some like current new plans, I guess you could say. Um, who knows how long it'll last? I don't care. I don't, I really don't. Anyway, let's do this, shall we? We're going to start with my bookshelf. It is the furthest away and I did not, I should have brought it closer, but I didn't. But at least I took it off the, the, thing. The legs of the stand. Oh, oh, I'll, I guess you can already kind of see it, but let's see. I worked on six projects. I do have other numbers here. It's kind of fun. So I worked on six projects. 12,000, oh, and this is from my whip parade, okay? So, middle of November, right after Thanksgiving? Is that when I filmed? Right before Thanksgiving? Right before Thanksgiving. Anyway, American Thanksgiving. Um, so, since then until now, I worked on six projects. I made... 12,390 full crosses, 1,033 specialty stitches, and that's being counted like one leg. Um, so a specialty stitch might take like five legs. Um, but I'm, that would be five specialty stitches, okay? So it's kind of like how you would count a tent stitch, only has one leg, um, but I wanted to separate like the tent stitch from the specialty stitch, so that's why that is, that's all that means. Um, and tent stitch is 18,669. So all in all, it's 32,092 stitches which honestly is not bad considering the struggle that it's been to stitch. Um, yeah. <laughs> my brain messed with my stitching. Like it's never done that before. And so that was, it's been, it's been rough rough to work through that. Anyway, here's my bookshelf. Uh, oh wait, I have pictures. Where do I have pictures? Um, I made a notebook. Where's my notebook? Oh, it's across the room. I bet you it's across the room. I will get it. I got it. Okay, I have a notebook and it's got pictures in it.
this one. Um, this is Treasure Hunt Bookshelf. Super size max color. Artworks by Amy Stewart. And it is charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Let me show it to you and then I'll talk. Um, I know it's 28 count. Um, easy count fabric. It is two strands over one fabric thread um oh gosh uh 10 stitch <laughs> oh i told you words are hard anyway so i did all of 310 throughout all of this shelf um there is like i don't know there's a handful of stitches that were kind of like like one stitch you know like there was no way to anchor them so there are i don't even remember how many stitches of black there are left but it'll just get done sometime so anyway I didn't zero out black that's what I'm trying to say but I did stitch it throughout this whole shelf and then I started in on the only other color that had like over 10,000 stitches remaining which is a brown 3371 I think um, and I stitched that down in here I don't know if you'll be able to tell on on camera but this does have black and that brown and then and then I just I just couldn't I don't know how else to describe what it's been like in my brain except that I just couldn't I have not touched this since um hmm. December 20 something. Twenty seven. It looks like maybe the twenty seventh. So since my whip parade, I stitched on this twenty four different times and put in almost 18,000 stitches, 17,972, 10 stitches, so. I don't think this is going to be done. I have looked forward to this being done October 31st of this year for so long, but I don't think that's going to happen and that's okay um, I'm hoping that at some point my brain will fully recover um, I'm in some kind of therapy that is um, helping but it will take some time but um, <sighs> I, I <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot that is causing my brain to just like decide it's done and it's hard it's hard guys so anyway this is what it looks like um I don't know if when I work on this I will just I will keep going on the 3371 I don't know, but what I kind of am thinking I'm leaning towards is doing, working on this book. This book and the words in it, I think are my favorite part of the entire piece. Um, I think, because those words just really hit me, you know? Um, I can't even remember exactly what they say right now, so I'm not even going to try. Um, but it's almost like a summary of the entire thing. Um, and, and there was a part of me that wanted to leave that to like the very end, but it might really help me just to finish that and, and see it and see it done. So um, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards is working on, on that, that book, but we'll see because I don't know when I'm gonna work on it again, but we'll talk about that later.
Okay. Oh, next I will show you. My laptop is right here with my information. Um, Woodland Enchantress. I have worked on this nine times since my lit parade. And this is a Dimensions Gold Collection kit. Artwork is by Ruth Sanderson. Um, there are all four seasons by her out now with Dimensions. I own none of the other ones, but um, I am kind of a sucker for seasonal things, so <laughs> I think I would like them. Anyway, I worked on this nine times. Uh, this is all kit stuff. I think it's 16 count fabric, but I don't know. Um, but here we are. We have the skirt, the skirt, all finished. Isn't that exciting? This, all done. Um, you know, there's actually very, very little white in this. It's mostly blue, but you don't look at it and think, oh, that's a blue skirt. You look at it and think it's a white skirt. So I put in um, 2,636 full crosses and 577 half crosses. Um, at least it says half crosses. Oh yeah, it would have been like in this brown, those are all half crosses. Um, so that's a total of 3,213 stitches on this. I believe the next thing I was going to work on was her bodice and sleeves. And then I was gonna do her staff and then her hair and face and hands. And then I could do the back stitching and the couching and the French knots and then the beading. <sighs> that I believe is how I will still work on this. I just don't know when I will work on this again. More on that later. <laughs> I gotta work with my brain. That's the thing is that as much as I would like to tell my brain what we're going to do, that's just not how it works, right? Like we can't dictate our own health and there is something very real about when our brains don't work. That's, that's just as tr difficult as if you had a, a, a different kind of physical like autoimmune disease or chronic. I mean, I'm not, it's hard because I don't actually want to say that it's on the same level. I just want to validate that, um, that it's legitimate because one of the big things that I've been struggling a lot with while I've been trying to honor where I'm at right now and work with it is that I very often feel lazy or stupid, okay? Um, I am neither of those things, but I feel like it because um, I, I'm exhausted a lot. I also had a relapse of COVID effects. Um, and so like, like the breathing and stuff was very difficult um, for a, a hot second. Um, and some of the respiratory stuff kind of came back. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, where was I going with any of, of any of this? I don't even know. Oh, I just want to, I think, I think this is what I was saying. Like, I just want to, um, say that it's valid. Um, because I, it is hard for me to feel to feel like I'm lazy and dumb when I know that I'm not and 
and having to reframe that mindset and and not make that my value like performing at some high expectation or any kind of expectation like I think all of that is contributing to my stress levels, right? <laughs> is is that like the pressure may not have been created by me but is being maintained by me. Not consciously, but it's it's just living inside of me and I'm still figuring it all out. Anyway, shall we look at another project? Um, I'm gonna show you the summer garden. This is a project by, um, The Drawn Thread. Right, like this. And it is very close to being done very close how close i don't remember i just remember it's close um huh. i don't have a needle on this needle minder so i hope i used it on a different project somewhere instead of losing it i i don't know what fabric this is um can we, no, I just, can we open that? Yes, we can. Uh, 32 count Belfast linen, summer khaki. Um, it is mostly one strand of floss over two fabric threads, but there are some places where it calls for two strands. Okay, so um, we've got, hibiscus I I can't I can't read backwards uh, <laughs> uh astables rudbeckia phylox we've got a tree we've got look at the bumblebee so cute um oh and then I, I obviously don't have any of the words um I think this is Iberus uh I don't know. I don't know. These ones, these blue ones, were so fun to stitch. I I don't know. I love doing the specialty stitch in these blue ones. And it's this variegated floss that just gives it... I don't know. I, I loved it. I loved it so much. Um, these little brown centers are over one. So that was fun. Um, I'm pretty certain it's a full cross. Yeah, a full cross over one. Um, and then, and look at this, this color floss was one I was out of. It was supposed to be the, in this leaves, but I subbed this out and then I just decided to go ahead and just get it because finding a substitute, I just wasn't super happy with all of them. And anyway. So I think I just have to finish this plant. There is some backstitching for these birds and bees, some backstitching for the, this plant, and then all of these letters, words, whatever. That's it, that's all that this needs. It's really, really close to being done. So I put in, I worked on this eight times. I put in 1,000. 202 full crosses and 1,033 specialty legs. I hope that makes sense, the specialty legs part, instead of like specialty stitch. Like, like this I think is seven specialty legs, but it creates one leaf and so it might feel like one specialty stitch. I don't know. I'm just trying to be clear. And I don't think that works very well with my brain as it is right now. But we're trying. Uh, 
So a total of 2,235 stitches went in on the summer garden. Okay, next. All right, this was, this is a pattern that I, I need to send this to the next person. Um, I am still within my time frame though, so it's fine. This is a traveling pattern. It was put together by um, Ashley, Boogie Stitcher. Um, and so it's, it's a stamped kit and um, it's gone to many different people throughout the world. I say many, there's going to be 12 of us in total who are stitching on this. Um, here's the artwork picture. Let's see if I can bring that closer without, it's a shiny page protector. It's like a watercolor girl thing. Um, so it's a stamped kit. It's on 11 count. And this actually arrived at, um, like the perfect time. It's when my brain shut down on my bookshelf. Um, and working on this, it was large count and because it's stamped and the patterns on it, it was just nice and easy for me to actually work on. Some days was still hard. I think there was one day that I only stitched like 69 stitches and even that was, was a struggle. Anyway, so let me show you just my section first. Okay, you can see where the line is up here and down here. I stitched that right there. I still need to put my name and location here on the side. Um, and then I need to send this out to the next person. But here is the entire piece so far. So there's only um, three more people to stitch on this before it goes back to um, Ashley, who's doing this top section, and she will um, then finish it, wash it, and then will randomly choose one of us who worked on it to receive this as the finished piece. Um, but it was just really neat to, uh, like, stitch on something that's been around the world. Like, It's been, it's been around the world. It's cool. And um, other, other women also stitched this. Um, they held this in their hands. It was part of their lives. And, and, and I got to put a piece of me in it too. So that was really, really neat. I... Now it says I put in 3,022 stitches, but... I'm pretty certain my section was only supposed to be 3,000. So that means somewhere in here, I overcounted. Oops. I, it did happen a lot. Um, like when you're doing a paper pattern and you're trying to count your stitches, I have a clicker. one of these clickers um it's probably loud and obnoxious when i'm traveling on an airplane and i use it i'm sorry people around me i try to keep it quiet but you know it's only so much you can do with that anyway sometimes i can't remember if i clicked it already or if i need to click it so there's that but you know it's a few stitches. Does it really make a difference? Do I need something to be 100% accurate? Actually, my brain sometimes does want it. But recovering perfectionist and trying to like lower stress, <laughs> we're going to say it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's that project. I'm putting it on this side of me. So I remember to put my name on it. I worked on that 13 times, so that actually is 
I like it. 13 times. Okay. Then from that, I went to my other stamped kit because I wasn't real sure how I was going to do with other stitching. Um, I also... I suppose like my stitchy book has kind of been gone because it's been hard to focus at all but um, like the smaller count fabrics or higher count fabrics are normally just fine but it takes a lot of like focus actually to um, just see smaller and anyway so that was 11 count and this is 14 count and it did like the first day that I worked on this one um the first day I switched my brain was tired sooner than it should have been or I shouldn't say should have been because it is what it is and that's what it should be right but anyway I'm trying I'm trying so I've made quite a lot of progress on this. This is from, oh, I should show you a picture, huh? Where did I put the notebook? Um, this is Phoenix from Oraloa. Here we go. This one. It has over 50 colors in it, and I am loving how it is turning out. So I think I can very safely recommend Oraloa um, for the quality there. Um, they license their artwork and stuff too. So. so I'm happy that it's turning out because it's really not that big, but look at this. Look at this. Does that not look amazing? Like you can see the different levels of the feathers coming in. You can see how that wing is right there. Doesn't that look incredible? Um, I was doing this color by color. So there are stitches kind of everywhere. But then I put it in a nerge hoop, um, which also my brain didn't want to do. And so it was like a big deal when I was finally, when I finally did it. Um, <laughs> it has felt utterly ridiculous, the things that I'm like, I should be able to do this. And I'm trying to kick that wording. Like, there are other times I can do it, but right now I can't. And that doesn't make me a failure because I can't when I feel like I should. So I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to change that. But anyway, um, I think this wing looks incredible. Look at that. Just, oh my gosh. It looks so good. So I worked on this for 17 days and there was one day, I know I stitch on this. I know I counted my stitches. I know exactly where I was and what I was doing while I was stitching, but I didn't record the number anywhere at all. So um, it says zero, but I know I stitched on it. <laughs> uh, so I put in at least 5,530 stitches in this project. And they are full cross, it's two strand full cross. Um, I think I already said 14 count. I am just so in love with how that wing is looking. So good, guys. So good. Ugh. Look, I'm not even going to like edit a cover photo or anything. So I'm going to be picking from whatever YouTube's upload offers me. Like it gives you three choices. I'll just be picking one of those. Um... Okay, and then just last night, I picked up a full coverage project for the first time since I stopped working on my bookshelf. 
Um, and this one, I'll explain why it's this one in a little bit, but this one is uh, Queen of the Night. Artwork by Josephine Wall, um, charted by Heaven and Earth Design. This is not a very big one, and but it's um, it's normal. It's not like a mini or anything like that. So um, if you're looking for not a huge Josephine Wall, this might be a good candidate. Um, it's in a hoop, but that's what it looks like. I am working. Um, I put in stitches in mostly that area. A little bit scattered just to finish out um, floss strands, but it was mostly right in that area. The last time I worked on this, I remember I was coming down to like fill in her face. I decided I didn't, I, last night the biggest the most important thing to me was that I started any kind of stitching. So I just came in and filled in over here. Uh, so I put in 120 tent stitches in this yesterday. This is a 25 count, easy count. Um, two strands, tent, st tent stitch. So that's what this is going. Look at this. I love this needle minder. Skeleton heart. Okay. So those are six projects. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you some other things before I start talking about plans. We're going to call it a method and not plans because, because why not? This is water, by the way. There's something very magical about this lid that lets me drink a lot of water. So I'm actually hydrated. I think it's because this hole right here is actually sizable and so it allows the air to actually come into the cup while you're drinking it. I think that's what it is. Um, but yeah, that's that. this is just water with a magic lid. Okay, what was I going to show you now? Oh. I'm going to show you my diamond painting that I've worked on. I actually have worked on two diamond paintings. However, uh, one of them is a project that lives at Stephen's house. And, um, and I work on it when I feel like it while I'm there. It's, it's cute. Um, but I don't have it here and I don't have a picture to show you. So that's okay. But this one... This is a Randall Spangler, and I'm not even going to unroll it all the way. I'm just going to show you that I've done more of it. Let's see. There we go. Like, I finally got to a part of, of not Ruth. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, this is by Diamond Art Club. It is called Moonlit Bath. And it's, it's tall and... Uh, you can see the moon here, and at the bottom of it is a, a dragon in a bath. Hence the name, Moonlit Bath. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Anyway, it's so pretty. It's also going to fold down. Look at that. But look at that window. Anyway, I did some of that sometime because I wanted to. And I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to work with my brain on, you know, I can't always avoid shoulds, right? I can't always avoid like things I need to do. 
but I need my brain to calm itself down. So, I'm trying. Anyway, uh, I got this from Steven for Christmas. It is a dragon kit to put together. And there's some kind of mechanism in it that lets the wings move. Um, oh, it's a rubber band, um, a rubber band motor. So obviously I haven't done it. I've not taken it out of its plastic yet either, but I do look forward to doing this. Okay, um, I'm going to talk method right now. Um, do I need my laptop open anymore? I don't think so because I just, let's not be distracting. Okay, so the, the things to cover are like my current approach and then I've got like stuff I've acquired. Um, have acquired a lot of diamond painting but then I realized like it's hard to show diamond paintings that you're not working on and because the picture on the box is like this tiny so they're all they're over there and I'm not over there anyway uh but I have several new diamond paintings <laughs> anyway but I will show you the cross stitching stuff so, uh, it occurred to me, uh, well, no, it didn't, I, words, I decided that I, um, I wanted to try and kickstart back my, like, enthusiasm for stitching I haven't lost my love for stitching okay it's there but um, but I need my brain to like love it you know and so yesterday what I decided on I kind of ran through some different ideas um, but I kind of took inspiration from Alara and Jen, the caffeinated crafter, Angie, slowly crafts, um, Alicia, adventures in stitching and Carla, stitch me sane, and came up with this. Okay. In this little box, it's a slip of paper that contains each of my active projects. I think there are seven of them. Uh, I don't know, but they look like this. It has the name and the designer. This is a picture. My, my printer ink needs changed. Um, see where it says active? And this is the start date also in need of ink anyway doesn't matter that's just how it is in my system that just printed it out this way the most important thing is that it's queen of the night <laughs> anyway so all of my active projects are in this little basket okay but i have two categories This basket contains all my paused projects plus any anything I could just start. I might not have it fully kitted up, but I have at least fabric and something of, of floss, especially if it's DMC since I work from a master set. Anyway, um... If I have a pattern and fabric, I probably can start it. 
it's in here. Okay. Uh, there's like 63 projects in this. I think there's 70 in total between these two bins. So what I'm going to do is alternate from which one I pick. So I'll, it'll be an active project and then a paused or, or kitted project. And then I'll go back and do an active and then one from here, okay? So I'm gonna switch back and forth. Now, when I switch back and forth is determined by box number three, folks. Shall we open? No, okay. Um, this, this box. In this box are, uh, there are 70 pieces of paper. <laughs> They're numbers, okay? They are random numbers, you guys. And when I say random, I literally mean random. Um, I was gonna, uh, I, I ran, uh, I chose my minimum and my maximum stitch count and then did a random number generator and I was going to round it to the nearest 100 or 50. Um, but then I hit the first number and and realized I didn't want to round it. I just picked whatever number it actually said. So <laughs> they are truly random numbers. Now the thing is, um, I did 70 numbers because that's how many projects I have, but I, I fully intend to just put whatever number I had just back into here. And so I don't, I just, 70 was just, it's fun. I have lots of papers that I can like choose from and it's always going to be random what it is that I get. I'm going to do the same thing for the project is that when I finish with Queen of the Night, I'm just going to put it right back into this one. And if I pull it the next time I'm pulling from this box, whatever, right? So it's, it's this like arbitrary, but like just random. Okay. Um, it's a way to not have to make a decision. So the first one I pulled was Queen of the Night, and I did this yesterday. And the number I pulled out was 719. So I just need to do 719 stitches on Queen of the Night. And then I will pull from the bigger box, and I will pull another number out, and we'll do whatever it says. I am not going to pre-pull. All I know is that right now I'm working on Queen of the Night for 719 stitches. That's it. The end. Uh, I I can't do more than that. I'm not going to pre-plan. I'm not going to feel like anything that might add stress to me right now, I would be an idiot to do. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. So, um, I don't know. Do you want to see this? You know what? I just, I did say we were just going to chat, right? Um, I'm, I don't, why am I? Oh, okay. There's a part of me that can't believe that I'm putting something out on the internet in this state. I love you guys. <laughs> okay. How about I show you all the projects that, okay, my whip parade had all my projects that I currently started, right? So what I will do is I'll show you what else is in this bin. So the kitted things, let's do that. Okay. Um, These ones are needlepoint or embroidery, and I decided to add them in. Uh, this is Red Poppy Trio by Dimensions. It's needlepoint. So, looks like that. We have a Dragonfly Pear by Dimensions, also needlepoint. 
I don't like the shiny stuff because it, it glares. That's why in my notebook, the page protectors are um, matte, not glossy. Um, this is Winter Flower. It's embroidery. My dance studio owner, um, the owner of my dance studio, she got this in a like a fab fit fun is that what they're called box and uh she's like i know that you stitch do you want to do this um so she gave it to me i'm thinking i might stitch it and then like hang it up in uh the studio like over her desk um with like a 3m hook so she can always take it down if she wants to but that's kind of what i was thinking that idea just came to me like two days ago. So anyway, um, this is Springtime by Leisure Arts. It's also embroidery. And Hello by Leisure, Leisure Arts. Embroidery also. Um, this box, as you can see, are my, like, little kits. Um, I have Red Cap Mushrooms by Mill Hill. These don't have names, but the way I just put them was, like, Swan Postcard. Because <laughs> this is the only part you stitch, and then it comes with everything to make it into this, like, card. They call it a postcard. It's, it's really... A card, I, a card card, I think. I don't know. Anyway, they're cute. This is a rose. And these are, these ones are Luca S. A lime. Pineapple. And strawberry. Hobby Jobby um, from the UK. They sent those to me. This is Hummingbird by Mill Hill. Look at those colors. This is on a fabric, a Wichelt fabric, so it's not perforated. I've got Southern Cross Santa and Eastern Star Santa. Um, these are just like book holders. Um, I use a lot of them in my library, especially for like, um, picture books. This is, it's time to travel by Hobby Jobby. Mm, how am I going to do this? Hopefully. <laughs> this is Dragon Affairs by Glendon Place. And this is getting a color conversion. So, um, I'm looking forward to this. It gets stitched with Silk Lame Braid, which I've never worked before. Uh, but yeah, I, we, I color converted it. I'm excited for that. Um, Prayer of St. Francis by My Big Toe Designs. Um, also, this is color converted. I'm not showing you any of that stuff because if ever I pull them, you'll see it then. This is Flower Fair by Judy Dixon, So To Be Seen Designs. It's got specialty stitches in it. Mermaids of the Season um, Stitch Along by Bella Filipina. I think for the most part, I will be stitching it as is. It's fully released now, but mm, I'm, I don't have a picture for you guys. Um, I think for the most part, I will stitch it as is, but I might change up the border. I don't know. All I have is fabric.
<laughs> I have two fabrics in here, so apparently I still hadn't decided which fabric I wanted to do. Pretty Little, Pretty Little Tokyo by Satsuma Street. Um, Emperor Moth by, I don't know, Thea or Tia. Governor? I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Garden uh, by Stitch Studio. And I'm calling this You Light Up My Life by, it's a heritage series, but I don't, I don't have much information on it. So that's, that's all I got on this one. I think it's one that I got from like my mother's stuff. She gave me a bunch of stuff a long time ago. And I think that's where that one came from. Oh, this is too tall. I need to put this sideways. We've got Garden Prelude by Mirabilia, Christmas Fawn by Satsuma Street, uh, oh, that's not the patterns, those are fabrics to go with these patterns. Um, I will show you each of them. Um, I put each of them in. Uh, so it could be interesting because I'm doing each season together. So it could be some interesting counting. Just I'll have to be very careful. Anyway, I already have, uh, the reindeer done. So this is the remaining 11, the fox, the swans, the jackrabbit, the raccoon, the ferret, the bear, the bald eagle, the barn owl, the woodpecker, the, br the little brown bat whose eyeball is, whoa, weird, um, the beaver, yes, okay, and I have the specialty floss that for each of them um, and then it just uses DMC besides that this is the mad tea party by Bella Filipina And then some of these, Ooh. no, you're just an order. You are, okay, some of these are, this stack are, are like things I've like newly acquired. So you haven't seen them before. This is a stamped kit by Oraloa. It's called Rainbow. Uh, this is Holiday Ornaments by Mill Hill. It is that big. It's, I've never seen one this big. It's perforated paper. So that'll be fun. Um, Midsummer by Paul, it's, it's Ukrainian Povitruya. Uh, but it's a bookmark. Um, this is translated to mean in the wind. It's, uh, I think a wallet, if I remember correctly, <laughs> but it was on the freebie table at Stitching in the Springs and I kept seeing it and finally I was like, I just, I got to check this out and I got it and I pulled it out. It's very interesting. Um, but 
that'll be fun to to just like work on the person who, a a previous owner of it anyway um like had started cutting out these pieces but hadn't done any stitching on them so this is definitely something that requires google translate because nothing is english outside of like vogue cross stitch anyway and lastly we have delphine's butterfly brigade um by mirabilia and this one i'm doing with petite treasure break and um delicas on this fabric that absolutely will not show accurate it is much more purple than blue but this it's gorgeous and and it will not show up appropriate on camera so um yeah i don't think that her dress is going to clash at all um but i will do a floss toss on it uh but the treasure the treasure braids look fantastic on it i really really wish this fabric showed accurate because it is gorgeous it's from under the sea um, if I were editing it, I would go and find a picture of it and put it in here. But if you're interested, it's it's called Zephyrus. But look at these colors right here. These two are the same color. Yeah, like that purple. Oh my gosh, so, so gorgeous. And they're going to look so good on this fabric. It's going to look amazing. Um... And all uh, there's lots, lots of beads in here. Um, I think this is just a zipper pull that Leslie added in. So, um, yeah. Okay. Yes. You guys, you go together. Right here. Uh, these were just, this is just some random things that I, I purchased. I'm actually not positive if it is random. This is a dinky dies. It's called Matilda. I don't, I don't know what I got this for, but I got it for something. So hopefully I find out. Oh, you know what? These ones might not be random. I don't know. I don't know, but I have colors. I've got two of the same color, which makes me think that these are for either the Mad Tea Party or Mermaids of the Seasons Sal, both both the Filipinas. So these these probably are related to those ones, but I will have to um, I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And um let me see. So those those are all like ones that I can start along with these are also my paused whips so once i have started a kitted one it's going to go in with my paused right which is why that's one category versus my active whips and i'm going to alternate them so that my active whips still get like i mean there's seven of them so um so yeah and a couple of them are really close to a finish so i anyway I don't know what of this I've shown, if any. So we are now in the part of the video where I'm just gonna show a bunch of like the stuff I've acquired. 
and yeah I'm gonna turn my heater down real quick I had like a space heater I was really warm but now I've been like hauling stuff in and out of here and now I'm a little too warm okay I have this fabric it's a 36 count even weave it's just white this will, um, at least part of it, will be getting a dye job to go with these sulky threads. Um, I'm not sure what color. Kaylin wanted a, Kaylin thought a blue color would go really nice, but I, I'm not sold on that. Anyway, this is white and this is a variegated um, sulky thread. I've never, um, worked with sulky before um, but I did a lot of like research and I'm pretty certain it'll work just fine on 36 count over two um, this is for a modern folk embroidery I don't own the pattern yet and I have to dye the fabric so this is not included in my box but that's but I kind of wish it was so um, this is not as like black and dark as we want, we thought it would be, but but I still really like it. I think it's still going to look great. It's still going to look so good. Oh. Go down here. Okay. I have a catalog <laughs> from Bothy Threads. Uh, if you go to their website, uh, you can request their catalog, um, and, like, yeah, they've got tapestry stuff, um, as well as, uh, like, long stitch ones, and then you've also got, like, your counted cross stitch, so... I don't know. Do I show anything from here? I mean, just go go in if you are interested in the Bothy threads. If you want, like here, I'll show you some of the things just at random. There. <laughs> at random. What is this? Oh, that goes with that um oh and then this is also from then it's specifically 2023 seasonal uh i mostly just wanted to peruse them i didn't order anything um or at least i haven't yet but it was just very cute Uh, this is a cunning cross stitch, the Middle Earth, I can't remember what he's calling it, um, Stitch Along. Um, he has a website and a Facebook page, and it's a free pattern. I know there's more printed out um, or ready, but this is like the design options for the like first part. So you can see like there's a lot of choices in how you can customize it and if you uh like you could even change colors with this as well so you it's very very customizable anyway i i probably could start this but i don't have a fabric paired with it so it's also not in my basket my box it's a box these are boxes because they were right next to my chair when i was cutting them out i have a bunch of carolyn manning designs that i bought winter waltz the twinchy project Sunset, 
<laughs> Summer Waltz. Stained Glass Sampler. Stained Glass Petals. Spring Waltz. It's a little hard to read these backwards. September's Sapphires. Pegasus. Peacock Topaz. Jane's Joy. Ocean Deep. Fairy Square. Butterfly Weed. Autumn Waltz and amethyst. A fair number of these are full coverage, so I could definitely probably have added these to my basket. Um, because they don't need to be dyed or anything special like that. But yesterday when I was putting together my bins, I've been using all kinds of words. My bins, my baskets, my boxes. They're all the same thing right now. Um, when I was doing that, I I couldn't I couldn't get to the like put fabric together part. My brain said no, so I I didn't. Um, but if your brain says yes, maybe I'll show some of the fabric that I have and some more f patterns that I have we like long videos right and your brain can tell me what <laughs> what to pair up together Okay. Oh, my beeswax. That's good. I need that for Queen of the Night for its crinic. Um, so these are little things that I put together. I say put together. It's literally this little safety pin and a purple heart. <laughs> so they're a little like I don't know, a zipper pull or something like that. And I handed them out to at Stitching in the Springs. Now I've got a lot more of these safety pins. So uh, I can hand stuff out like that forever at this point. Okay, a lot, I think all of this stuff that I'm going to show you right now is from stitching in the springs um either gifts or the freebie table or i purchased it okay so look at this bag okay it's a lined bag with a drawstring look how precious this ribbon embroidery is on it what am i going to use this bag for i don't know but i love it it is yeah and and let's just be clear about this freebie table i went back to that thing like five times over the entire course and i think i continuously picked stuff up each time like because people go and like they just not everything put gets put out like immediately and so and then as things get picked through like your brain just starts seeing some more of the other things and it's fantastic and there were so many things and all the leftovers um got donated uh mm, i know vicky did it but i can't remember where anyway it's a precious bag ribbon embroidery love it okay here's here's fabric i don't i don't know what fabric this is but I got it. <laughs> it's a very nice neutral fabric. Um, that's probably a 28 ish count. It's a, it's a linen. 
This is a glittery, it's um, like light blue. I really wish you can't, you can't see the, can we see this? Oh, there is, there, do you see the sparkles? It's light blue, it's an Ada, so it's gonna be something like a, a 14 count, I think. It, it seems like my Phoenix, so I'm gonna say that's a 14 count. In this bag, I've got, um, these are like little ornaments. You undo the nut and then you can put a little stitching in it and close it up and that's really cute. Um, there's two of those. These are um, bobbins, so uh, there's there's different looks to them. Nail files. This is a a coaster made by. She put her name on the back, so I actually Alley Cat thirteen. I know that this, where is it? This also came from Stitching in the Springs. Um, <laughs> I call it my little sword. <laughs> um, let's see. This is my uh, badge from Stitch West, but I took it and used my Stitching in the Springs on it. Um, yes, accurate. I have a bubble gum. This is from Janet Jabber. A bubble gum, a bubble gum, a glow, blow, blow pop. Oh my gosh. And some stickers. It says, be happy, not because everything is good, but because you can see the good in everything. And this one says, be happy. Um, little, um, what is it called? A stress popper. <laughs> My capybara sticker. Maynard Swedish berries. Does that mean they taste like Swedish fish? I hope not. Um, this is, um, cat, the organizer of Stitching in the Springs, made these, um, scissor fobs, and she, um, she made a whole bunch of different ones. Um, this down here says it's an Ohio charm, and this is, um, it's purple, and it says, Sugalite. I'm not sure if I am saying that correctly and it doesn't want to focus, but it says Sugalite, powerful healer, promotes awareness and self-confidence. So that's, we got to choose our own and I chose that one. Um, I got a needle minder. It's a panda bear and it's way over there, but it's adorable. So I want to show it to you. Oh, well, let me, I'm going to forget, but let me get the random things out of here. This is, what is this? It's a hard candy and a friction pen. I don't have a memory of this. <laughs> and a capybara sticker and a taco. <laughs> um came with this capybara. There's this was um these and this and probably some of these other little things came from my table mate Michelle who's from Canada. Um Um, I want to get that needle minder or I'm going to forget. You 
isn't it so cute? I want him to focus. It won't focus. He is cute. Okay, move along, shall we? Yes, I still have all of this to show you. Um, and this. So I got a grab bag. Um, Live and Die LA is um, one of the vendors at Stitching in the Springs. And she usually has these grab bags of floss and it's a lot of fun. And I got one this time and which was good because I actually was going to buy this floss and then I forgot and tell after I had made my purchase. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go make another purchase. But I opened my grab bag and found some in there. So I am, it's, I don't have a color name for most of these, but I will show you what I have. At this point, these do not have um, homes, like I don't have projects in mind for them, but they are going to go in my This is, these are all my flosses that they might have a project they go with like these, um, but they also might not like those. So that's where those are going. This is a Live and Die LA fabric that is uh, not quite accurate, but that's not totally inaccurate. <laughs> It's called Mermaid Lagoon. It is a 40 count linen. So gorgeous. I wonder if this would work for, mm, I don't know. Will the sulky work on a 40 count instead of a 36 count? Is that too close of a color? This this variegated one? Okay, so I guess I'm gonna need an opinion on that. If you have experience with the 12 weight sulky, will that be too bulky on a 40 weight? And then secondly, I think that would work. But maybe not, what do you think? It's hard because you can't really see all the variation of color that is in this. It's like if you've got blues and purples and like teals, I guess, um, and some, I think, brown, it's, it's, it's hard to see. But it is variegated and I don't know. I kind of love that. The question also being would the pattern fit on a 40 count? fat quarter. I kind of like, I like the idea though. Um, and now here, here's magazines and patterns. So I won't show you them thoroughly, um, but if you would like me to spend like a video just going through all of these and showing them to you, then please leave a comment. And I suppose if there's even only just one person who says they wanna see them in detail, then I will do it uh, at some point. But I will at least show you why I got it. So this is Just Cross Stitch, June, 2022. And actually I, I just said I would show you why, but I'm not sure I remember exactly why, but I do, oops. I'm dropping stuff. It's things like this. It's like, I love that. It says bloom where you are planted. Um, like this one just has so much of the garden things in it that are just real pretty. 
Look at that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm already like, I'll just show you all of them. No, I'm not going to do it. This is just cross stitch August, 2022. And got that. Love it. That. I'm literally just flipping through, so I really. Oh, look! I found a project gallery. Hi. Um. when it says hello summer say look at it but like why is this not focusing it doesn't want to just cross stitch april 2022 and now that i know there's a project gallery i might have gotten all of these it's a, they've got this series of houses so that might have been one of the things um but i also just really like so much more of these too. This is just cross stitch December 2022. And um I will show you this one up close. Show you the big one. Oh it's picture is so tiny, I can't show it to you. I'll show, I guess I'll have to show it. Look at that one. It's like, it's a moose, Mary Moose Miss. Um, this one's also really cool. I, I liked so many of these. Um, and here's Just Cross Stitch, February 2022. Which has, oh, 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 oh. Look at her, guys. Um, it is a four-part series. And of course it's not gonna, but I don't think I have any of those other uh, issues. Because they're all from this year, April, June, and August. 2023 but look at her I I can't I love all four of these so that was definitely why I got that one meet me under the mistletoe this is a Marty Bell called Sanctuary the Prairie Schooler a prairie garden. This is landscape stained glass window, the collector's gallery. This. And this is, um, I can, this is the, can you see that pattern? It's big and it's, yeah, anyway. Um, also, the Collector's Gallery, this is View from Oyster Bay. This is Dickens Christmas Village um, by Douglas Designs. Dickens Springtime Village 1. It looks like there is a two and there is also the cat's meow village on the back of this. <laughs> I don't have them, but the back says that they exist. This is a Paula Vaughn. Perfect patterns. It's got kitties all in here. Can you see them? Man. You 
usually, usually it'll autofocus. Anyway, the cross-eyed cricket, the great pumpkin conspiracy. Uh, also came with eat, drink, and be scary. Oh, my brother's going to work. I guess he can't get cinnamon rolls. I mean, he works in a grocery store. He could totally get cinnamon rolls on his way home. But by that point, I won't be able to eat because I'm I'm being really good and not eating after 7 o'clock. Um, it's not even, it's not been hard at all to do that, actually. I guess I'm going to the grocery store. I say that like it's a huge chore. Like the nearest one is a quarter mile. Not even a quarter mile. Um, <laughs> this is called Marietta Cindy Valentine Designs. Now this one ended up in my pile because of my friend Kristen who sat at my table and she saw it and um, liked it but doesn't want to stitch it and so she gave it to me so I could stitch it. <laughs> it's, um, I think it's Hardanger. Uh, cause it's got, I don't think it's just Hardanger, but it, it's, um, that's what this is and like in through here. So, and then I got a bunch of cross stitch and country crafts. Now I already have some of these. And so what started, uh, it, it's fantastic. Um, I didn't, I didn't get any of my duplicates, but. This is May and June of 90. Does this have a, this probably doesn't have like a gallery. But I guarantee you that there were pieces that kind of came in multiple ones. Here, like this. This is the Cottage Gardens. So this is the one that's in this issue. But then the March and April and the July and August had these other two. And so I got as many of things like that that I could. Um, not to say that there's not other lovely things in these magazines, but that definitely happened. Here's July and August. Um, which I was definitely one. This is the half timbered cottage. September, October 91. Isn't this so sweet? It's a cross stitch of village. And They have this really cool illuminated um, manuscript piece. I think, yeah, like that. I think illuminations, I think that's what they're called, illuminations, um, are so cool and how they were made also real cool. Um, yeah, this is January, February, 91. We've got cacti. I think 
this was um this had this cool uh decorative painting so pretty november december 89 which has some Hanukkah in it. These adorable um, stocking utensil holders. <laughs> uh, this one is May, June, 88. you it was these garden scenes look at that july august 88 um yep this one this one has another one of those garden scenes um but it also has these um like three-dimensional flowers um i can show you there's no pattern on this one i'll show you this page so you like stitch all of those and then it shows you how you you put them all together um and there's several different ones march april 88 This one has another one of those garden um, thingy thingies that was in the last ones. Um, <laughs> they have bread cloths. And I'm like, where's the pig? Um, there's a pig. Oh, can't. Look at this pretty one. It talks about... Um, stitching with variegated floss and January February 86 look at that one I love that um what else is in here okay where's that one where's the one on the cover I mean I just showed you the one on the cover but now I'm like but where is it in here I like this um th this herb one right here Here's the other herb ones too. There's like four of them that it that it had in there. So, hmm, I'm not finding the pattern for that one though. That makes me sad. Hmm, I'm not even seeing somewhere on this. It's a Mother's Day sampler is what it says, but I don't see it in the um, table of contents. Oh, it's literally on the next page. I found it. <laughs> um, Delft, that's the name I was trying to think of. The, the Delft tile look here. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Here are some of my fun fabrics that 
I don't have projects for, besides the ones I already showed you. I mean, you've seen these before, I think. Um, this is a opalescent grayish one called London Fog. I've got chalkboard. I have this um, like baby blue. Of course, I have a variety of like um, easy counts, like 32, 25, 28 counts. I've got some smaller. These are 16th yard casual linen, um, 18 count oatmeal Ada. This one, what is this one? A 28 count sand cashew linen. Um, what else is fun? I've got this. And that. A gray version. And this is like pink splashes. Yeah, that. And a natural um, linen. Yep. Plus the three I showed you earlier. turn this. Sorry guys. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. Um, we've got like wintry ones. I do obviously have full coverage, but I actually do not want to start full coverage right now. Um, But if I were to start full coverage, the ones highest, I'll show you ones that would be like possibilities. If I can find, um, if I can find them. This is Villa Lorna. It's a stitching moon designs pattern. And this is Bluebirds and Mailbox by Contemporary Cross. I have Northern Lights by Stitch Rovia, Celestial Hoops by Stitch Rovia, Butterflies, love these colors, Enchanted Forest, um, yes. Autumn Friends by somebody, Punted, Punt, Puntini Puntini Autumn Essentials by Madame Chantilly. Oh, the glare on that one's bad. Uh, Satsuma Street. Strawberries and cream. Love something. <laughs> Uber. Uh, that Valentine's not big, it's Uber. This one I think is gorgeous. Snowflakes, which like begs for sparkles. Summer. Um, this is a black work. I, <laughs> I stitch, therefore I am. Autumn, a perfect match, pretty little San Francisco, Amethyst, 
be here now, which I'm trying so hard. Do um, it's called small things. Do small things with great love. This is a Marty Bell. Man, that glare is. And then I'm not gonna show you inside any of the magazines, but I've done it a long time ago. September, October, 89, um, cross stitch and country crafts. And then I've got March, nine, uh, March, April, 90, Christmas at Stony Creek. Um, I love this silent night in here. This is embroidery um, animals. They are so precious. This book, The Cooler Design Studio, um, Kaylin gifted this to me a long time ago. And there are a couple for sure ones I wanna do in here. Um, I just don't remember where they are in here, so please bear with me. Um, as I find them. Look at this one, Willow Wear. Ugh. Where's the, um, not that one. I think it's on black fabric. Definitely, look at this autumn season one. I love the color change in the word autumn too. They have um, bookmarks in here. Okay, where is the... Oh, there's the butterfly one too. That's in this section. That one. Ooh, ooh, black one. The cranes. plastic canvas. Um, this is from Lucy and Art. So is that one. I have a mirror billet, the South Seas Mermaid. Blackbird. Um, Dominique. Oh, um, these are different samplers from the Victoria sampler, the seasonal ones. That was summer, spring, autumn. There is a winter, but it was not where I was at at the time. I love you more than all the stars in the sky. The moon said to me, do not wait to be whole to let your light shine from the depths of your soul. Be thankful. I wonder. Hmm. No. If I color converted her dress, this one would work on the chalkboard one. But I don't know. I found the one who my soul loves. The work of Christmas. <laughs> A chatelaine. <laughs> Another chatelaine. And I, there is, do I not have it printed out? I guess I don't have it printed out, but they're 
Gypsy Firefly, the full coverage from that. Pretty certain I own it. Um, I would, that would be also a full coverage contender. But like I said, I'm not, I'm not too sure I want to start one. All right. I think I covered everything. Did I cover everything? Um, I think that's everything. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love and your care. Um, thank you for your messages that you've sent to me. Um, I make no promises on when I am back. I do not know. Like, this is hard. It's hard to, it, it just is. Um, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, yeah. Emotionally, I am I am pretty stable. Um, my medication really helps there. It's just like my brain is hard, and sometimes that gets me down. Um, yeah, it stopped snowing somewhere in all of this talking. But all right, I'm gonna go. Pretty certain what I'm gonna do is go to the grocery store and get cinnamon rolls because I want to and I don't think I need another reason besides but um, and then I will uh, be stitching on Queen of the Night um, for whatever is 119 minus I mean 719 minus 120 that's how many stitches I'll do and then I'll pick something else um, and it could be one of my new starts and it could be one of these other projects so um, there was something else I feel like I was gonna say but I think that I would just be saying more like apology kind of stuff like like I don't know when I will be back I don't know when I will be posting on Instagram regularly again. I, I don't know. But I am alive and I wanted you to know that. And I miss you all. Um, you can reach out to me in all the various places. <laughs> But thank you for understanding that it, I don't, uh, it's hard to respond sometimes, but, but I still appreciate you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, my puppy came to my door and is now whining, so she wants attention or outside or something, and yeah, I'm gonna go. I love you. Mwah. I hope that you are having a great time and hugs to you and my love to you. Goodbye.